I'm going to make a, another observation box as the one you've just seen. Um, a basically it's going to suspend plastic tubes between um, two pieces of uh, marine ply. Uh, so I need a pencil to mark it out. It's going to have some sides and then I've got um, the lids, the two lids, with one on the bottom and one on the top. And what I'm going to do with this is going to, I'm going to put some plastic tubing nasty noise some of this plastic tubing here and I'm going to suspend it uh, between the two pieces here um, using at the back little cuts of dowling wind dowling I'm going to cut that in pieces anyway I'll, you'll see as it progresses and I need two drill bit sizes one which is going to take the outer part of the tube and the one is going to be at the back which will uh, set the place for the dowling to be to be glued in place. Okay. What I've done here is just mark the um, places where I want to put the entrance holes so that when eventually the box is in place and I look downwards uh, none of the tubes block each other and uh, we get to see what's happening with all the bees going in and out uh, and we don't have to have to guess what's happening or how many cells are created. I'll put uh, two G-cramps in place to hold this is the, both the back and the front together and what I'll do is I'll, I'll drill with this one, I'm drilling um, across a 9mm um, drill bit across so that the 9mm will hold the wooden dowling at the back and it will create the entrance and then later I'll, I'll widen the entrance to hold the outer, the outer limits of the tube um, I hope it will all be explained So I've done what I can to um, put as many holes um, in there so that eventually when we look down into the box uh, we'll, we'll see as many tubes being worked as possible. Uh, the one I did before, which I'll show you, which you've probably seen in other videos, which is up here. The one I did before, it was almost um, two verticals, so I couldn't see um, beyond the first and second tubes. So we're going to try and improve that a little bit. And yeah, by the way, that's my little ladder I climb up to to look at the rest of the bees. Oops. Yeah. I think I've probably seen this before, but anyway, here you go. Here's, here's the bees busy putting pollen in tubes. So I've got the back end of the box done with the wooden dowels in place, I've just hammered them in, so after all I didn't need some glue. Uh, the dowels were 10mm wide, uh, and so with a 10mm drill they just uh, hammered in perfectly. So what I'm going to do is eventually be able to stick the tubes, you can see their tubes, over the back, and then they'll cut them at the right length, uh, the, the side length of the box, and you can see we'll have some clear tubes. Anyway, that's that's the back end. The front end, because I drilled them with the same size holes originally, the front end I've got to make it slightly larger because I want the tubes, as you can see I want the, the tube is a millimeter um, in, uh, in thickness of the, the, the plastic so obviously it's not going to go into a 10 millimeter hole. Right. So what I've got to do this is make this uh, larger one and um, take it up to 12 millimeters. Well, there it is, slightly wider holes. It's not very pretty, but uh, it'll be sanded down, and uh, those will be, that will be the pattern of the out, the out uh, holes.
there's a new box in place on the first floor window. Yeah, the tubes are a bit dusty, so I've got to clean them up. We'll be able to see what goes on. So hopefully once we get all these um, plants away, and this is the old box. The tube's ready in place. It's a bit early in the season and we've got another six weeks before the bees come out. But um, this is the right time to prepare all the the bee uh, habitats so that the day the sun hits and the, um, the temperature rises for the bees to come out from the cocoons everything will be in place and they'll uh, they'll do their maximum and there you go all the snow so here's the setup um, I've just put the new box in place and it's a bit wet today, but uh, there you go, the old observation box, the uh, block that's been a bit uh, scorched to make it uh, apparently more attractive. And there's another block which I'll compare it with, uh, which is just the plain uh, wood. And above, I don't know if you can see, I've got that shoe box where the cocoons are going to come out, the, uh, the emerging bees are coming out. And then a couple of... Um, tubes of uh, paper, well, paper tubes and uh, it's a little bit too cold today check the temperature you can see it's only 12 degrees so I'm not expecting a lot of things to happen but there we go it's in place <laughs>